scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I asked myself a few questions. Why am I successful? Why is this ministry successful? Why the celebration? You only celebrate things that work. No one wants to be associated with a person or a thing that does not work. And while just thanking God, reflecting over my life, I just thought to share with us something that is truly the conviction in my heart. I will continue to share with us truths that will build us and I'll continue to pray that God will help us to hear. Because many of us just keep our ears open, but we really don't listen. Listening is not just with the ear, it's with your spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. By the Except you reveal to us, O God, we cannot know except you show us we cannot see except you guide us we will not be accurate hallelujah i'll share some more on monday but this word you see is the secret that make men great every man is built by the word of god not just the word of god that is read but the word of god that is revealed by the wisdom of the spirit and received and tonight i i just want to talk along these lines and we'll just run through a few scriptures as i challenge you i i truly hope that someone will be angry with your current situation whether spiritually or whatever dimension and trust that tonight's teaching will help build you let's start with john chapter 8 john chapter 8 and verse 32 john chapter 8 and verse 32 in fact let's start from verse 30 we'll read from 30 to 32 30 to 32 he says as he spoke these words this is jesus now many believed on him 31 then said jesus to those jews which believed on him he said if you do what continue in my word then ye are my disciples indeed and then 32 says and ye shall know the truth you will know the truth by starting as you continue somewhere along the lines of your consistency you will encounter something remember the context is continuation not just starting to read not just a five minutes devotional not just a one month study he says if you continue in my word you are activating something that will cause you to eventually encounter the truth he says and if it is truth there is a character of truth it sets free meaning that if you claim to know the word and it still leaves you in bondage or in that situation then the truth of that word 
the final the uh, how, how do i how do i describe it now when the word of god is broken down the unit of it is truth the capacity to be set free from life's vicissitudes the capacity to not be under the limitations of life to rise by understanding and by the liberating power of truth he says if you continue meaning it would take a while he didn't lie to you he said if ye continue then you are my disciples then he says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free ladies and gentlemen there are many people around the world with scriptures with books with tapes with teachings attending seminars and all of them will tell you they have the word all of them will tell you they have the truth but we do not see that liberating power of the truth in their lives not their spiritual lives not their finances not their ministries they remain in bondage in spite of their supposed encounter with the word something is wrong if it is truth that you meet the bible says the truth shall make you make you like i say make food for me the food is not there you are going to enter a kitchen and make it happen the bible says the truth if encountered can make what does not exist in your life it it never said the truth will bring you freedom there is no freedom anywhere like like if i tell you make jollof rice for me as at the time i was speaking there's no jollof rice you will search it and not find it but i said make it are we together your intelligence can gather from any market and any location the cow the vegetables and then combine them in a way that after a few hours there you have plate what you are looking for is freedom but it's not available and then the bible says when you encounter the truth the truth knows what forces to bring together and then all of a sudden something that did not exist will now exist the truth shall make you free free from what free from poverty free from fear free from mediocrity are we together now so the problem usually is that we may have encountered the word but we have not encountered the truth let's talk about it in john chapter 18 please give us verse 33 and we're reading to verse 38 something happened between pilate and jesus please listen and learn the bible says pilate entered into the judgment hall again jesus is being judged now and called jesus and said unto him art thou the king of the jews pilate was asking a question next verse we're reading to 38 jesus answered him sayest thou this thing of thyself or did others tell it of thee that means pilate had an information people were murmuring it outside and he came in he said are you a king looking like this the king of the jews and then the next verse pilate answered am i a jew thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me what hast thou done 36 jesus answered listen my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world then would my servants fight that i should not be delivered to the jews but now is my kingdom not from hence 37 he said pilate therefore said unto him art thou a king remember this is a battle of reality and information he's trying to verify something follow me closely thou sayest that i am a king to this end was i born for this cause came i into the world that i should bear witness unto what talk to me please that i should be a testifier of the truth everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice so he's talking of truth now next verse pilate said unto him a question that people never ask what is truth notice the moment pilate said what is truth jesus said i am a testament of the truth immediately he said i find in him no fault in other words because you are the truth you qualify to be free if it is truth 
it always sets men free. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So Jesus, Pilate confessed that because you are a testifier of the truth, there is no reason why you should be in this situation. When truth shows up, no matter what it is, it must let you go. Jesus' remaining there was because of his love for us. But Pilate said before all, he said, I find no fault in the truth. That's the same way poverty can say, I find no fault. The truth has come. I must give way. This has come. I must give way. When the Lord opened my eyes to this scripture, I said, my goodness. Everywhere Jesus went, that was a system of oppression. It couldn't hold him for long because he was truth. Are we together? They held him before a cliff. He came out. There was scarcity around the truth. And the truth said, no, it shouldn't be. And all of a sudden, multiplication came because the truth was there. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Listen very carefully. Everywhere the truth went, the ministry of that truth was to liberate, was to set free. When he got into your house, no matter what it was, that truth made men free. He went to the house of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming to your house. And within minutes, because Zacchaeus hosted the truth, he was free. And thou shalt know the truth. If you ever host the truth, then the truth must make you free. Very powerful revelation. That means if we remain in bondage, the issue is not just Satan. The issue is that we may have been receiving scripture and Bible study, but the truth has not come. Because when the truth comes, the Bible says it makes you free. It fabricates freedom from wherever and ministers it to you. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Many people keep bragging around with their acquisition of scriptures and their criming of scriptures and their participating in teachings. Listen carefully. The truth is not just a right information. There are many right informations that are not the truth. You have to understand this. You only say an information is correct based on a reference. Unfortunately, the reference itself can be wrong. Are we together now? There is something that science, science has pieced together a body of facts. And whoever aligns with that body of fact with respect to science is walking in the version of the truth. Is that true? But science itself must be vetted by someone higher than it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Culturally speaking, there, are, there is a system of understanding and behavior built by culture. And to the degree to which you align with it, we say you are walking in the truth. So there is a lot of relativity when it has to do with the subject of truth. What is permissible to a person and within a context may not be permissible to another person within another context. But here's what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the the truth not a truth the truth that means i am the ultimate system of freedom and liberation an encounter with the truth makes men free if you claim to have knowledge of the word of god if you claim to have found something you think is true and it does not produce the requisite freedom then it is not the truth it may be something else. It may be a well-meaning information that is correct based on a historical system of agreement. They have agreed that whoever does it this way. I give you an instance. In our world today, if a woman just looks at herself and says, I want to get pregnant without a man, that is not true as far as the 
educated opinion of men is concerned. Is that true? But when the truth was ready to find expression, there was a system that was created that would have been told a lie by science. Be careful what you call true and false. There must be a reference because with respect to God, there are some things that are agreed as true by men. But then when it comes to God, God says, no way. Lazarus died. That was the truth. Based on what doctors like David and his colleagues would say, they had checked him and there was no pulse. It was over. But when the truth came, he said, what did you say? Three days, roll away the stone. This is the truth. If it is the truth, he sets men free. Are we together? They buried the truth and covered it in a grave. After three days, the grave opened and the truth came out. If it is truth, then it must set free. The question is, why are we still helplessly under so much bondage? We pray, we fast, we sleep on our Bibles, we quote Bibles, we listen to tapes. Yet it looks like our situation is not even scared of our spiritual investments. Could it be that we are not encountering the truth? Even before Pilate, the, proof, the truth prevailed. The moment Jesus said, look, leave the issue of king. I am truth. Pilate said, what is truth? And he said, this man is free. I may not understand what truth is, but I'm a victim of the effect of that truth. I must let you go. I must let you go. What if you knew the truth about your life and destiny? What if you knew the truth that you were not a victim of situations and circumstances? What if what they told you about your upbringing was a lie? It was culturally true, but from the reference of God is a lie. What if your past and what it told you were a lie with respect to God? A lie is not a wrong information. A lie is any information that was not brought from God. It's a lie. It doesn't matter how right it is. If it did not originate from God, then it's not true. Ah. Truth. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. 2 Timothy, when you read from verse 3 and verse, uh, chapter 3 and verse 7, the Bible talks about this group of people, zealous people like we are. It says that they are ever learning. Please look up. Ever learning, but never able. Learning does not guarantee an encounter with truth. That you are sitting with a Bible does not mean you are encountering truth. That you are sitting with a tape did you hear the testimony of the dear lady who was listening to the seven days um, prayer and fasting? She said she had been listening to it. Just because you started, the tape started and finished with your ear hearing it does not mean you can counter the truth. She said at that point, a prayer came and light opened. And all of a sudden she received. And the results showed immediately. A friend that had no business helping her, that's the truth making a way now. The truth always makes a way. Don't leave no uncle nonsense. You don't need. Once the truth comes, the truth will find a way around it. Because the truth is not just an information. The truth is also a person. So when the truth comes into the womb of a barren woman, what happens? The truth starts making a way. It finds out what is the issue first. And they say, ah, this woman has no womb. And the truth said, there is still a way. There is still a way. Prophesy to yourself and say, there is still a way. Look at the challenges that stand before you. That you cannot see a way does not mean there is no way. Just stop looking for a way. Let truth come. Truth knows where the way is. Ah, You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. With your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because you made. Sit down, let me tell you. There is no 
uncle anywhere who is going to help you. There is no, a, an uncle only helps when the truth makes him part of the actors of your breakthrough. Nobody just comes because he knows you. Ye shall know the truth. Many of us are trying to find ways and methods whereas the secret is to stay until the truth comes. When the truth comes, light must come. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that will bless you. What's, what's, the, what's the scripture now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Um, Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Give us from verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 29 verse 11 and 12. Let me show you that just because you have a book called the Bible in your hand does not mean you have access to truth. Read it with me. He said, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. He did one that is what? Learned. Saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot. Not because I can't open it. It is sealed sealed next verse <laughs> and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i am not learned both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless in the presence of this book where is the key how do men read it i thought by being learned i will automatically understand it this is not science the book is sealed. There is a spirit with the key that opens it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. Listen, listen. This book you see has written in it the codes of your destiny, but it is always sealed. I told you everything glorious is what? Covered. No glorious thing is revealed. You don't buy a product without a package. So your destiny is there, but it is sealed. Going to school is very important but when it comes to the matters of the spirit my brother my sister don't let the pride of education make a fool of your destiny that's why we have many intellectuals who brag and say what is god a can become c and they are trying to make c out of a forever whereas the maker is truth a foolish man can come with his foolishness and sincerity and say lord i, I can't amount to much my life you see is a testament of this they are life to those who find them. When you find it, it looks like a charm. It's impossible for life to keep you down. This is not some bragging. No, if it is the truth, if you ever see a mountain start laughing, there must be a way. There must be a way. Pilate looked at Jesus and said, if you are a witness of the truth, then I find no fault. I'll let you go. Are you learning something tonight? It's not just opening the Bible and then reading, oh, James chapter this, the Bible said this, in the name of Jesus, I will never be, that's, that's just, that's, that's scripture, you are just playing games. Many of us keep flattering ourselves for many years, thinking, I'm not saying reading your Bible is not important. I have found the missing key why many well-meaning believers don't get results. They are not lazy. They are more serious than even some of us pastors. Take laziness out of the equation. Why is life hard for many people? What is the mystery of this hardship? Close heavens everywhere. No help, failure, pain. There is a, an explanation. The book that you have been reading is sealed. That you got a message from me to preach does not mean it has been opened to you. No, sir. Have you ever opened a scripture and then you are reading, you've been reading it and all of a sudden you see something there that you never saw and then you can mark that day and say something shifted. That, that portion of scripture was open to you. 
I remember studying about the anointing for many years. I read books and books. A lot of people got their revelation from Good Morning Holy Spirit. You've never had me mention it because I didn't get anything from it. I read it. Good Morning Holy Spirit. I was blessed, but I didn't see anything there. And I just stayed. If you continue, that's the key. And then one day, the portals, when it opens, it is open. When Jesus stood for to read in the temple, the Bible says they brought to him the scroll of Isaiah. It was open. And he said, this day, you have been reading it and thinking it's some prophet somewhere, but I am the manifestation of this. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. If we don't get serious with our lives to find truth, we are going to keep convincing ourselves and jumping around, quoting scriptures that for a very long time, our lives will not capture the levels of freedom that befits one who claims to have that knowledge of truth. I know many wonderful, lovely men and women of God struggling around the ministry sincere they won't steal nothing they won't do anything notice that both the learned and the unlearned are still victims of the same thing so what is the key i will show you <laughs> ah, i will show you ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3. We are going to read from verse 1 to 5. Note this. You know, there are many people who keep talking word of God, word of God, word of God. I, I don't have a problem with it. It is true. But we are missing something very vital. Vital. The book by itself is sealed. You will only read, a, you will read stories from it. For this cause, I, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Uh-huh. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. What is the grace? How that what? Uh-huh. He made. Stop. He made. I didn't learn it. How that by revelation, he made. Who is the he? Someone came to me. And opened the book he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when ye read when ye read ye may understand my knowledge the basis of what you are reading is not just that I wrote someone came and opened something to me and I want to help you too because if all you do is to just read you will not find anything it says when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ verse 5 which others which in other ages was not made known so this thing is made known it's not studied it's made known it's like occult it is made known if it has not been made known, my brother, my sister, let me tell you, you will fast and pray and never find it. It is made known. A man can receive nothing except it is given. This is how we rest in the kingdom. We keep struggling and thinking it's just by all of these things. No. Your press and then he comes to make it known. If God does not make it known, you will never find it. It is so obvious, yet you will look and look and never find it. It says, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by who is the he? Talk to me, who is the he? So the he comes to you and says, this book cannot open except I am there. The book can give you the word, but the spirit can show you the truth. You need truth. That's what you need. You don't just need word like word like that. When you say this, many believers think you are encouraging people to not be serious about the word of God. Let me tell you in all honesty, I doubt, I, I doubt if I've seen any man that is more passionate about the word of God than me. There may be, but I've not seen one. But I found out 
that your life is going to be a chronicle of frustrations if you don't understand how truth comes out of the word. It says, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets. Jeremiah 33, please, and verse 3. Help us, media. Jeremiah chapter 33. Please read with me. Koinonia is projected inside and outside. One to go. Uh-huh. Stop. I will what? I will what? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Doesn't matter how long you've been studying it. He said you don't know it. That's why the results are not speaking. But when you call on to me, I will answer. And the answer is that I will come and I will show you. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. We have ignored the Holy Spirit and carried Bibles all around hoping that just by reading it intellectually we'll be able to put A and B together. And the Bible tells us that the mysteries in this book are sealed. That's why they are called mysteries. When you read the Bible outside of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, all you will see is potentials for possibilities. You will keep seeing them, but your life will never, never experience them. One of the greatest secrets in my life is the ability to allow the Holy Spirit to open up scripture, open up scripture, open up scripture. John chapter 16, please. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. John chapter 16. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. Read with me, please. One to read. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Why? Because you are natural and these things are spiritually discerned. Are we together? Verse 13. How be it? When he, the what? The spirit of truth. Not just the Holy Ghost. The spirit of truth is come. What will he do? Please talk to me. He will guide you through the book. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He will show you. And you seen it all through scripture. People are shown things. People are shown things. If you are not shown anything, you will continue bragging around with scripture and never have results. Your assignment is not just to sit down and read your Bible religiously. Your assignment is among other things to cry for the manifestation of the spirit of truth. All scripture was inspired by him. He knows the codes that are enshrined in this book, but it is sealed. It will take hunger to cry for him. But brothers and sisters, when he comes and opens it to you, you and all others will stand in awe of your destiny. This is the mystery behind great men. This is the mystery behind great destinies. A spirit came to them and showed them things. Whether it is in the occult or in the faith life, nobody rises without being shown things. He must show you. And I was taken in the spirit, Ezekiel, and I was shown this. What have you been shown? Or what have you been reading? You have been reading in the name of Jesus, I will never be poor. You have been reading, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. You have been quoting it. You have been doing everything. But you are just reading potentials it is sealed when the spirit comes he will not quote the scripture he will show you the code in the scripture when the holy spirit comes he will not tell you no 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 he will show you something that may not make sense for another person there's something god showed me about the anointing there's something god showed me about growth there's something god showed me about victory there's something god showed me on how to deal with enemies whatever is not shown you becomes the gate to your destruction you have to find out what you have not seen 
and cry with all your heart and say lord show me let me tell you how you know you have not shown you whenever you do what is supposed to be the obvious solution and it does not work then it means there is more there is more apostle i pay my tithe apostle i give apostle i'm a sincere man of god i study my bible all doors are closed there is something that has not been shown you let me use the example of our dear pastor did you think that all the people that rose up for him just came to asaba in the last two months were they always there so what happened why was the climate harsh over him look how well meaning he is i've been to his meeting once an adorable man of god and his wife it's amazing how life does not give the excuse for you being sincere it doesn't say you are sincere and then no sincerity is not the seed for greatness you can be as sincere as possible and find out that you are a victim of everything bad you know pastors come to me and they say apostle i can stand before god and tell you i love god with all my heart i say i'm a man of god if you are lying i will tell you and then they now say apostle but why is life treating me this way like i told you was it last week or the week before last i begin to nod my head in pain because i know that um the solution is not just to pray there is something that they don't know and my brother my sister until this book is open to you and your eyes see your destiny will remain small we are all gathered today now scattered across inside and outside and those following online because god showed a man something your generation is dependent on what you see they are they are waiting earnestly to say man of god what has god shown you that you can bring to the table if all you are taking to destiny is your degree get set for a big shock if all you are taking is just your sincere heart get set for another shock if all you are taking is your uncles that you know my uncle somewhere my auntie somewhere no i don't study the bible to crime scriptures or to preach i search for light i search for truth there are very few people who ever know how i study the bible because if i teach you it will frustrate you i can stay on a scripture for a long time because there is something i'm searching god can show me like a code i can see half of the truth and see the other part two years later and until i see it i will wait but when that code comes pack 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 the seals are open and the results follow no devil stops it when when the seal is broken and open then your life will be a wonder even to you favor is here but is sealed there is a mystery to it the anointing there is a mystery the helpers of your destiny are here the problem is not the book the problem is that it is sealed when you are not aware that the book is sealed then you are in trouble because you will continue to read how many churches have continued to read this every sunday sunday after sunday but there is no one to come to testify that this is what God has done. Please hear me. I want you to learn. Some of you to take years to understand what I'm sharing with you. As simple as it sounds. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Your favor is real. I testify. Your favor is real. Your power is real. I testify. When the Lord gave me the revelation on the body of Christ, let me tell you this. I didn't read it in any book. I remember lying down like a child when the Lord came with this scripture. For this cause, the Lord began to teach me that there are four encounters. The Son, the Spirit, the Word, and the Body. And that the reason why many people never rise in life is because they've had the three encounters but not the body i said so there is something called an encounter with the body 
and my life changed. Every true apostle of the Lord must deliver a mystery to a generation. There must be something God gives you by the Spirit. This is not just Bible study. It is that he comes to you. He doesn't come to me every time, but he comes. I remember when God was delivering to me the secret of church growth. I read. I study. I've studied Young Gicho's materials. Studied Bishop Oyedepo's materials. But here he comes. The code for your own destiny given to you. That someone else will do and will not work for him. Because it was open for you. That's why you see people doing things that should not work. But it works. I'm doing my best to try to explain this thing to you. Sometimes it's very difficult to understand, to explain spiritual things. All you see is the result that follows. But behind those results are strange encounters that walk together and they make a way. They make a way. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I love you. That's why I'm teaching this. I can come and just talk to you and we laugh and joke. I am so passionate about your results. And the way many of us are going about it, you will never find it that way. I'm telling you this. I'm saving your life from frustration so that you will not jump like others have done for many years. And then one day you'll find out they are not even in the faith. And they say, don't bring any Jesus talk. I've tried him. It doesn't work. You only tried scripture. When you try the truth, sit back and watch it make a way strange ways in the wilderness ways that should not be there the truth will cut a way out of a rock the truth will cut a way out of a river and you will cross and they will look back and not be able to find the way again and they'll say hey jimmy what way did you follow and you say i don't know the truth just made a way the Egyptians tried to trace the way that the truth made for the Israelites. They couldn't find it. They drowned. The song of Miriam. I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Even the horses and the rider has been thrown. The same way somebody passes is the same way that kills another person. Because it has to be a way made by the truth for you. Someone can do a business that lifts him and you do a business the one that kills you because it's sealed it was not open for you someone can use the same word you are speaking to get favor you will use it and get destruction because you are just speaking light of the world you step down into darkness open my hands let me see Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Sing it one more time. You're the light of the world, you step down. When you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever. Jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth. Not just to pray gibberish in tongues. No. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us men of God. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors. The Holy Ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book. To guide you into all truth the book is there but it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human he made known unto me he made known unto me he made known unto me first corinthians chapter 2 please give it to us first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 Read with me, please. Everyone is projected. Just read and then you write it down. One, two, read. Uh huh. Not the spirit of the world. Stop. In any case, 
you must receive a spirit. So there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life. And they can manipulate it and get some results. And God is saying, so that when you are inspired, you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere. There are two spirits. There is the spirit of the world. A man tells you he was just sitting down and he made a discovery. It's a lie. Nobody makes a discovery. A spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality and then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it and the whole world marvels and they call you Albert Einstein and they call you Michael Faraday and they call you the Wright brothers the Bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself it's not true a spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed but the spirit which is of God why that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God there are things that are freely given so says the book but the spirit of God the spirit of truth comes and opens you so that you will now comprehend and then you walk in the reality the light of it and my brother my sister your life will suddenly change in a way and manner your family members will look at you and say what charm what did you touch look at this come promise if by next week promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing a dimension of revelation and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world and is parked in front of his house nobody will say promise so you are this hard working someone will call and say promise come where did you go to who did you meet we know that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result who assisted you just tell me and you'll say well it's a long story are you ready to do what? i say i'm ready now say okay meet me by 11 30. let's go to one corner somewhere so everyone knows you would be you would be unwise to see what god is doing through my life and this ministry and believe it's just hard work no no what more do you need to see to convince you no man can do these things except a spirit be with him with god all things are possible without him on your own there are things that are not possible Many of us have been fighting alone. Do, listen to what I'm telling you. And you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you. I kept thinking about this. And I said, Lord, look at what you've done with my life. All because I saw the Holy Ghost. And I said, Holy Spirit, I am weak. I am dull in myself. I'm not condemning myself. It's the truth. I am ignorant I may not even have the strength but if for any reason you can hold my hand I am available just that one decision turned my life around I shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages I can't remember when I preached exactly that I saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and I wanted to go and rescue them but I was weak in myself but then I was determined to go out the moment I stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go and if our God is for us then help me stop us and if our God is with us then sing one more time and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then we prophesy to yourself. I teach 
praise you and watch your enemies criticize you and waste their time there is nothing that can be done about a man who the holy ghost has held his hand nothing it's too late once the holy ghost holds your hand and says let's go you will climb mountains and walk through valleys when the door settles you are still standing and you will say to you be all the glory and men will say how are you doing it it's not by charms it's not by brain work this is not a plus b no you see that i treasure the holy spirit so much to a point that many people just say oh this 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 spirit thing is too much just focus on the word you keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open i believe in the word but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it he is the one who gives life to the word the first the first person of the godhead revealed was him not the word the word came after he was revealed in the beginning look at the order god created the heavens and the earth we didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened in verse 2 there was darkness then the first of the godhead if he was the first in the creation of earth he must be the first in your life too he's showing you how to come out of chaos many of us just stand religiously acts chapter this john chapter this and we keep jumping around and the holy spirit says no it is sealed that's why an unbeliever will carry the bible and all he will see is a compendium of controversies you will see things that don't add up in scripture god saying this one and god saying another thing and saying uh -uh, god says doesn't lie see how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed but when the spirit of truth comes he will open your eyes others are looking but you are seeing all of a sudden you will see something others are not seeing and then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in i cry to god and say lord this man is a weak man you have to help me and the lord said he will help me and all of a sudden my life changed i'm introducing to you not just a book you have it I'm introducing to you not just tongues, you can pray in tongues. I'm introducing to you not just God in you, you have him in you. I'm introducing to you what Yongicho will call Holy Spirit, my senior partner. If anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind Apostle's life, if you say prayer, you are lying. If you say Bible study, you are lying. If you say worship, you are lying. If you say sacrifice, you are lying. All of those are secrets. The greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong God who makes that weak man a strong man that's what God can do that's what God can do the treasure that is in earthen vessel but held by a superior power that no force no cause no witch no devil can stop He told Joshua, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Brothers and sisters, don't you see? You have been trying in the flesh. You have been doing, oh, I, I think if I, if I buy one golf now and I do this and I understand this and that investment, I will rise. And the Holy Ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance. And you, I, I know, let me just get one golf. I will be getting 10,000 10, every week. I'm a smart businessman. Then if I get another job in the bank as you are calculating it, I'm not saying those things are useless. But here he stands, the gentle spirit, watching your ignorance and your pride punish you. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you run when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? Power at work in you, change. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little there. Feel your devil.
That's the secret. No matter how dull you think you are, no matter what village, let them laugh at you while you walk. Many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands. They laughed. And today they bury their head in shame for holding my hand. The Holy Ghost is not the president of a nation. The Holy Ghost is not the CEO of a bank. The one who turned chaos in Genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands i knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands i knew i had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands i wasn't as smart as you but i was stupid enough to hold him and said no matter what it is i hold your hands i hold your hands he will hold your hand as you go to the nations people will talk and say let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years because there is a hand there is a grace he is the creative power behind this ministry the wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man you will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it because it is a is sealed are we together sealed all of the things i do today about the anointing he taught me how could i have known how old am i aren't you seeing that what what is happening is more ancient ancient this is not the wisdom of a man Adore, you are mighty on God. for me to celebrate things like birthdays what what are you celebrating who are you really celebrating take him out of my life and the secret of a foolish man outside of him is revealed but when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph listen I say it again there is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands. No, sir. No, sir. It's a grand formula for victory. When he came upon Jesus, he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you. The spirit of truth. When it comes to your ministry. Listen, let me tell you this. I never, listen. I never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever. I teach you principles here 
but principles will never replace presence principles only become useful when presence is intact god is not science listen oh brilliant people i may not be as smart as you and i beg your pardon but if it has to do with victory in this life someone must hold your hands and someone must show you the physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone someone must hold your hands and lift you we have ignored the holy spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with him oh i tell you there is big embarrassment walking with him because your way will not be the regular way of people because your life will not be within the context of others but if you can be foolish to still stay and say holy spirit where will i go to jesus said will you also go and they said to whom shall we go you alone have the keys i have watched people mock god i have they have not mocked god by mocking god directly they have mocked god by mocking his wisdom There are people looking for anointing, reading books, getting all kinds of formula, do A plus B, add C to it, then the power of God will move. Let me tell you this. I say this by the authority of the kingdom, you are wasting your time. God is not a herbalist. It's only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship. But when it comes to God, he will not show you power first, he will reveal himself. Moses wanted to see his glory he said no 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 Moses I am that I am let's let's discuss first every promise God made to me I have watched it come to pass as at the time he said it I never knew how it would happen but God when he speaks be foolish enough to believe that Lord you are able God is able to do strings just what he said he will do. He's got a fulfill every promise to not the Holy Ghost you are holding. Koinonia, hear me. I keep introducing him to you. Hold his hands and watch what he will make out of your life. Leave all the, the unwise people who keep mocking God. Just do A and B. C must happen. Who are you to make C happen? How old are you to make C happen? A plus B does not guarantee C in this life. The person to make C happen can die. But when God holds your hand, anything plus anything can become anything doesn't make sense look at this the dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him it's not a hand that is laid on him it's more than a hand my brother if it's just laying on of hands you go and do it a hand is laid he carries that possibility enters a land that was not favoring him and all of a sudden things start changing I am a blessing to you and to the world today simply because of his ability to help me Ebenezer is my testimony 
I am a man who has been helped by God. Helped in every way by God. Ah, he said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate, glory be to God, but they are products of Him. Listen, if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever, save Johnny. I wish you the best of luck. Go and search the Bible and search history and find people like Alexander Doway who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide. Because even if knowledge abound, they will cease. Knowledge will cease. All of these things will cease. But when you want to become indestructible in this life, hold his hands. And do what he tells you to do. And walk with him. Don't command him. And say, Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me money. That's what many of you are doing. Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me my wife. Go and bring me my husband. Go and bring me members. Go and bring me prosperity. And he says, when I came to you, was I a tenant or the landlord? The word of God. The Holy Ghost was given to us, among other things, to unseal this. For many years I read my Bible. Did you know for many years there were times that I would not even read my Bible for a while. I would just carry the devotional, repent and read it. Do you know why many of you open the Bible and it wearies you? You are looking at it but you are reading something that is sealed. That's why you cannot get life from it. You will open today, you don't know what to read. No, not when he's guiding you. Tonight we are going to pray. We are going to take serious time we are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of God you are a woman of God the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray. Listen to me carefully. When I was writing the things that I now do, that the Holy Spirit was revealing to me, at a point in time, I just sat down and I said, Holy Spirit, you must be joking. Is this it? This foolish? I think I'm smart. The thing with God is, the spirit of God is very gentle the moment you begin to interrupt his wisdom with your I too know mentality he just steps back you do it your way go ahead and do it your way some things in our lives are not just an attack it's us alone without him whether Satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have that is the natural consequence of ignoring him I love him so much. Koinonia is built on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. He's the one who has given the word of God value. Look at what the messages are doing around the world. Do you think that is just because the message is so powerful? No. If he holds your hand, he holds your finances. He holds whatever comes from you. Someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi, a cab. And the cabman, every time he picks you, he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message. I don't know the cabman. And he just continued like that. There are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages. Not human beings. They entered meetings and gave them messages. I, I was I'm true to, to God. I don't share all these testimonies. I was told of someone who bought a memory card. New memory card. New brand new memory card slotted it in his phone and all he saw was koinonia message new memory card with seal seal he opened it i'm not lying to you a pastor from gambia 
a great a great man of god from gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said he, he just went on youtube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on his own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him he will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship him hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every promise to My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe or some kind of thing to have to corner and lie and do something. You want to walk in integrity and righteousness the environment is already hostile against you the fact that you name the name of christ alone is trouble for you they will hate you at your workplace hate you everywhere what then is your advantage your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings the advantage is him if you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say god what are you doing i hardly share my testimonies i had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if i tell you some of you will not sleep i myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this you are the mighty god hey.
that song. That song had been in my spirit for throughout last week. I don't know how to sing. You are going to sing that song. After it, we are going to take our time and pray. Help us, please. Jesus asking for anything we are going to take our time and pray in the spirit one of the mysteries that we were given to accessing the mind of God is praying in the spirit I like you to take out time and just blast in tongues and pray seriously in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere inside outside those online follow us as we pray in Prakasu to Pregedia, Limosi Pasata Paragada, Rico to Pregete Ligadava, Setete Pregete Seke Paragada, Zipata Parate di Paragadosa, Ipanto Pregetesa, Lekatalabada Bagabada Bagate, In Protosi Palate, Repata, In Pregete Bagabada Paragadesa, Shabana Bagabada Bagabada Bagaba, Retete Ipata Tata, Ereco Pataliata. Ima Tobia Taya, 
and foolishness I come in with my limitations and I come to you you are the only one who can make meaning out of my life I come to you lift your voice and pray and cry cry for his presence in your life get tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom cry for his wisdom Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making my I'm tired of making I ask for your will. Come, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed. Daniel did not find it. Then the secret was revealed. Then the secret was revealed. I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately. I'd like you to open your mouth and say, Lord, show me. There has to be a secret. Open up this scripture. Hey! Open up this scripture. Show me a Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. The secret to ever increasing fire. The secret to spiritual power. The secret to influence. The secret to activating my destiny. Show me, O oh God. The book is sealed. Open my eyes. 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 What must I do to prosper? 
What must I do to rise? What is the key in the spirit? What is the key in the spirit? Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men. The law and the prophet. Not just the law of Old Testament. That if you want to be transfigured, the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic standing side by side like Moses and the prophet becomes your key to rising. When Jesus was transfigured, we saw two men. Elijah did not appear. Enoch did not appear because they were not responsible. They were not the spiritual mysteries. The Bible says that Moses, Moses stood on one side and Elijah, I meant to say, sorry, Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law and he said the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. He's showing you how to succeed. Jesus did not just rise like that. The law, not just the law of the Old Testament, the precepts of God. You can have all the principles, but there is no prophetic voice and you remain there. No glory. You can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles but there is no voice it's like ingredients if you have rice you don't need as much tomato as you need rice but don't put the tomato and see you can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato including salt sometimes you you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt but you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened you've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it that's what i keep doing all the time that's what i keep doing all the time when i speak over your life i'm not repeating myself when i speak over your life i'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit I've taught you that Jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years as the word of God until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him, immersed him, and his heavens were open. If Jesus operated an open heavens for 30 years till he met John the Baptist in the spirit and power of Elijah, your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice. listen listen i want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities the earlier you learn this the better for you do it before you start having children do it before it gets too bad because darkness for sure is covering the earth and cross darkness the people But upon you the glory of God will continue to arise. It's not just because you are a man of God. We trade secrets in this kingdom to stand. And one of it is the Holy Spirit holding you. But not just holding you, opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom. Continue to read your Bible. But don't think you will find it just by reading. You will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see. They are life to those who find them. That means it's missing no until he opens it to you. I found certain things in my life. It was Bishop Oyedeko that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity. And he spinned round and shouted, Yay, I can never be poor. I'm sure people laughed at him. But you found it.
if you found it you found it I want you to succeed I want you to excel I'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom listen take luck out of it don't call what you don't understand luck that's arrogance there is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged you will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly when men say why is it happening like this don't lie that you don't know what you did yes it is it is the lord's doing that's why it is marvelous a man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes a man's doing is natural that's why i don't clap for you for walking because it's a man's doing men walk naturally born again or not but there are results that when we see we know that this one is the finger of god rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do this except god be with him it's a message i want you to carry to everyone you love jesus said come on to me are you seeing now come on he, he, does not wisdom cry come on to me why will you continue to suffer and struggle listen i'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not he's giving you a word of caution oh wise man lean not on your own understanding he says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path he said be not wise in your own understanding verse 7 he said fear the lord and turn away from evil it is because we are wise in our own understanding if god does not lead me i don't have where to go i don't trust what i can do i will mislead people with my ignorance but when he comes you can dare the unbearable you can stand and look at goliath and say goliath you come against me with your bows and your spheres but i come against you in the name of the lord god the captain of the host of heaven whom you have defied and goliath you don't mind him while he's talking am i a dog that you are coming with a sling say just keep watching is the same way God can give you an instruction by the Holy Ghost. You've been dancing all the time, but the Holy Ghost will wake you by two and say, just dance to 2.30. It's not the ordinary dance. You just finish dancing. That dance will give you twins. That dance will give you an estate. And if people ask you, how did you get it? You say, I dance. They say, please don't turn us into idiots. How did you get it? I know you did all those church things. I said, well, should I lie? I'm telling you how I did it. The mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom I want to release my faith with you in one minute I want you to be sensitive to from today till Sunday but I want you to ask the Lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting as for something that that is able you know elisha had no business gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open but when he was close to elisha the prophet he said i'm not seeing what you are seeing and he said okay let me make your eyes see he didn't say just mm -hmm. take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what i'm seeing A man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was and all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him he prophesied naked from morning till night not because he had been praying and fasting people have prophetic implications everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God some of you is your family you are crying for an intervention that must step in i'm going to give you the next let's use the next five minutes i truly am going to be interceding for you i'm not praying for myself i just want you to pray and agree lift your voice and pray don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time
Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Listen. You are going to pray, but many of you, I, I'm, you're not, you're not, it's not the zest of prayer. Let me tell you something. They met the disciples of Jesus and said, why don't these guys fast? We are fasting and these guys are eating. Yet they are getting the results we are not getting. And Jesus said, for as long as the bridegroom is there. So there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do. There is an advantage you can take. The bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for. Are we together now? The covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom. But because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment, he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there. In other words, I'm not ignoring that principle. It is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it. I needed to share that scripture just to help you. There are some things that ordinarily that's the way you are supposed to do. But God brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey. Ordinarily, the disciples were to fast. Jesus said, I'm not fighting fasting. They will fast one day. But for now, as long as I am here, uh -uh. there are people that when you are around, I know people that just because you are around them, you may never read any book on finances. I'm telling you sincerely. Except you just want to add to your knowledge. The least, the, their, their greatest state is still higher than your greatest dream. Their presence. If you meet Prince Charles and Prince Harry and say, I just got you a book on five levels of wealth. He will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the Buckingham Palace and say, walk out of this place. Do you know why? Because as long as they are in the palace, if they are out of the palace, they will do a lot of reading. But as long as they are in the palace, I teach you mysteries. Always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to. Not just God alone. There are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge, you should not be doing. You should have, others may be doing it. If I'm a pastor in living faith today, I, there are some things I should not do. If I'm a pastor in MFM today and I have problem with my prayer life, I think something is wrong. There is a grace I should drink from freely. If I'm not a pastor in that place, I may need to dissipate some energy. But when God calls men, he calls men with certain possibilities. And when you come within that covering, that thing should work for you. I keep drumming this thing, but many people don't get it. It's true. It's true. Find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing. There are things they, before they even learned the principle, the result was already speaking. It's true. As long as the bridegroom is there, you are immune. When the bridegroom leaves, so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom. But you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom. You can carry a handkerchief from Benny Hinn and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening. Simply because you made contact. Do you not see that God will be wicked to allow you pray for everything? No. No. I don't pray for everything in my life. There are things that you can get. Jacob and Esau, those two guys, they were not praying for the blessing. They were connected to a lineage that had it. The father didn't say, okay, you guys, he said, just go and make me venison. Let me release something on you. Look at this. Esau did not receive the blessing, yet see the prosperity that came. The fact that he came out physically, that's why Ishmael today Will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him? There are things that should happen in your life, my brother, my sister. There are some things that God has done for you already. 
walking trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary it was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for so they use the blood of bulls but now christ has come and that sacrifice that you just receive that's the same way there are other things that has been done he gave gifts to men to ease their journey there are things in life are you ready to pray our time is gone i want you to open your mouth and pray pray unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come the Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward Pray. Shapakoto sobra da kashubi ada baladaba. The Bible says, "May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion." Abalado sada bakato she ada balakotiya. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Who are thou mountain before this man of God? Who are thou mountain before this woman of God? Who are thou mountain before this family? Who are thou mountain before this business? Who are thou mountain? Hallelujah. Isaiah 41. 10 solid verses we are going to read. 10 to 20. Isaiah 41. God is turning things around. Turning things around. Turning things around. When your clock refused to move, you fix it because it was supposed to move and if your life has been brought and tied to time then like the clock the clock is a revelation of how your life must move when clock stops moving you fix it or throw it away if your life stays in one place it's a mockery to God is a mockery to you 
is a mockery to all who are connected to you that your life like the clock must turn 41 from verse 10 to 20 fear thou not this is a word for somebody for i am with thee yes in the midst of the pain the disappointment i am with you the threat letter i am still with you a man gave a testimony i think it was just something to encourage you i'm not sure it's a real story but he held the hands of jesus from that story i'm told and they were walking together in a desert place and then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told jesus he said why did you leave me we i there were four footprints but i got to a point where i saw only two and jesus told him that was when i carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine i knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so i carried you while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why god starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for i am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for i am thy god i will strengthen thee yea i will help i will help thee i will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11. behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what that's where i got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly it says all day that okay let's let's just read 12. no no go go just just go back to two. thou shall seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. 13 for i the lord thy god will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not why because i will help thee don't trivialize the help of god don't when god tells you i want to help you rejoice when god says i want to help you is the same thing um this guy is locked up here he wants to come up but this is stopping him and I say, I want to help you, meaning I am stronger than him, meaning I know something he doesn't know. I want to help you. He says, Fear not, O warm Jacob. Jacob, you are weak, I know. Why does he call Jacob a warm? It's not an insult, it's a description of your frailty. Fear not, O warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Sayeth the Lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel reading to 20 15. behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small thou shalt make the heel as chaff thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the lord and shall glory in the holy one of israel 17. when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tests read it with me i the lord stop stop when the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18. i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys 
and I will make the wilderness a pool of water I will make it I will make the wilderness a barren life I will make the wilderness a pool of water I will make a destiny that has no business flourishing a pool of water and the dry land springs of water two more verses 19 I will plant in the wilderness the cedar the shatter tree the mitel the oil tree I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or Lord God will also sing it just one time On low we starting things around. On low we starting things around. On low we starting things around. Oh my good. Yeah. On low. And understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot, you will still see worms inside. How they got there is a miracle. That's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access. God says, when did I start needing a runway? When did I start needing ladder to come to the earth? When did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me? I am creator. When God speaks, it doesn't matter where it is. Even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth, when his voice comes, echoed by the voice of the prophet, the Bible says, bone came out. Listen carefully. If you don't believe what I'm teaching, you are wasting your time here tonight. Take your eyes away from the mountains and say, Lord, you are going to recreate my life. There are things you will have to turn tonight around for me, like the streams of the Negev. When you read further, it says that those that, 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 that sow in tears will reap in joy. It didn't just say those that sow money. You can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray. Turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev. In the last few months, I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men i am learning afresh again after many years that god can help men no matter who you are if god does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence he said some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name 
of our God. I trust God tonight to change our lives. I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle. Scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives. We have come from far and near. Many of us made tremendous sacrifices. The question is, do you believe that this God that we serve, that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family, to visit a man, that God looks at you and says, I have decided to come to you. I've decided to hold your hand. I've decided to lift you. I've decided to give you a testimony. God comes to a beloved sister and says, my daughter, they have laughed at you. Now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah. I have come to uphold you. I have come to wipe your tears. I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone. You are called of God, but it's as if you are not called. No anointing, no results, no testimony. No one placing a demand on your grace. But something happens to you. God says, I'm coming to assist you. Hold my hands. God assists us by asking us to give him our hands. Do you know why? Because until your hand is holding him, he cannot move. You see, let me tell you this. Your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move. When your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way, you don't qualify for his help. When he wants to help you, he says, place your hand upon my hand. And you are now going to use your faith from hence, not your hand. Let me be the one using my hand to clear the way. Let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness. Let me be the one to make Pharaoh give you gold. I can give you gold by creating, but let's make a caricature out of Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you are the one who will give that gold. There is a name God is called, the Father of Spirits. Understand the revelation behind that name. Every human being is a spirit, he resides in a body. But God is the Father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirits that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he is the Father of Spirits. Meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass any and every I spoke to a man this morning before leaving um, very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and I looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl, the daughter was there, the man was there standing, and I said, this is the signature of Satan. When Satan comes to your life, you can know he has a signature. He will stamp it on your family. Do your worst. He will stamp it on your destiny. Do your worst. Stamp it on everything around your life. And when God comes to, he will use his hand and erase it and said, let me put my own and see who, what devil will come to take it out of you. I prayed for that man with all my heart. I prayed for him passionately. In that state of poverty and penury, the children and the man, they put together a seed. I, I, I said, can I ever accept this? I, I collected the seed. I prayed with all my heart. And then I said, look, I, I place favor. May your seed become a tray. Let me put something upon it for you. It's called the favor of God. Go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around. That's the works of darkness. Some of us are seated here right now. Our loved ones are in such kind of chaos. Satan. When Satan does a thing, you don't need to ask who did it. He does it so clear that men will know it's his finger. Please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God. The works of darkness is darkness. The works of God is light. That's why we're here. To disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives.
is God speaking to us tonight? The captivity of Zion. The captivity in your family. The captivity in your life. What is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level? You see it, but to touch it, it looks like there is a resistance. There is a limitation. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray tonight? And then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit. Oh God, turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked. Lift your voice and cry. Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. In Palagato Sika Paragadaba, Breketeke Padabako Seketeligada, In Pato Sikata, Eko Turn again the captivity, Mam Brekeke Banakata, Brekusakata, Kaperekete, In Prakato Sika Paragade, Zakata, Ekuta, Breketeke Padabakata Paragadibo, In Pata Pretes Teke Badagadabosa, In Brekete Sakata. Hallelujah. I'd like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. <laughs> En de kato sabara kata bara 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 kata Rakapata, Brekete Katosa, In Kapata Kate Kata, Rekepata, Limonsi Palamana, Lekata Prakata Sekete, In Patata, Rekutata, Shepalamana, In Protosa Pata Brekete, Alabadosikata. Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of, I'm, I said interview. Seven graduates, no one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream i came and i prophesied it was like a koinonia service i laid hands on him and i mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now i don't know whether or not they have given him the job i don't know that part but that's God at work. From a dream, prophecy, you wake up physically with the alert. You didn't apply. Ah. Listen, listen. Don't let men fool you. This God, ba, let me tell you, when God decides to help you, don't tell him how he would do it. Your ways, his ways are higher, higher than our ways. His thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast
he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like god is too slow god can act mysteriously fast i was watching a documentary i like watching documentaries um and on, on a, a, a national geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and i said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your god is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth god we are talking god here number one god can act fast so that you don't limit god and say lord i know you will act but um no problem no number two listen very carefully god can surpass your wildest imagination now it's difficult to understand but you must believe it god can surpass your wildest imagination he can he can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that god decides to give you and then number three satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory it's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of god himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will god do this promise how is god going to do this if god does it this way there's already a blockage here if god follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if god uses this method my uncle already hates me and god says you only gave me three methods i have methods as infinite as my names i can use anything i can use a fish to give you coins i can use a donkey to speak to you i can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies i can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of god we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the holy spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the holy spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody, could not bless anybody. The word just roamed around the streets of Nazareth. But when the word became anointed, it became Christos, the anointed. So the word of God is coming to your life. I want you to be very sensitive, whether it is the prophetic word, whether it's an instruction to pray, whether it is the deliverance session. Don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that. Let your heart connect. Be angry. There is an obstacle for sure. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you. You get up and say, it's all right. How can it be all right? If it's all right, who invited them to your life? Good things about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door, recycles your pain again.
then for many of us what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men the men component God helps by bringing men God can agree with you men can disagree you will still suffer God agreed for David to become king Samuel refused David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed men can stop your breakthrough it's not just demons men can stop your breakthrough and not all men are castable there are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic God doesn't cast them he gives you access to their heart when a man's ways pleases the Lord he makes even his enemies there are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates are we together Lord I'm ready for you tonight lift your voice and pray please pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Now let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen in here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you as you come out here, begin to rejoice because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you, living now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives, Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom. Be broken, Shabarakatos. Be broken, be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains over flow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. Every force of darkness. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. 
Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray that if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the, a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Every viper, every snake, scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement i command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three bring that lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady, but in the spirit, I'm watching. I'm not saying you're a bad girl, my dear. All I'm seeing is a serpent. I'm not seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I expose that serpent now. Glory to the Father, you must be on the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah I want to pray a very interesting prayer don't mind me just allow me I'm ministering under the anointing 
I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit. And if it doesn't sound logical, don't worry. Just let me do the prayer. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes. Serpents of the night be judged. Serpents of the night be judged. Serpents of the night be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged. Be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing fire. Not impartation. Fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please restoration 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 I command restoration of every lost glory even the lawful captive shall be delivered all those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one Two, three, go, 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 go out of their lives in the name of Jesus. Out of their lives when the blood speaks, nothing else speaks again. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant, victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure, but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. You may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is, seemed to backfire. When it came to money issues, he didn't go and pay like, give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus, right the name of Jesus. who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca 
Rebecca. I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma or Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Huh? You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Saminaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, Tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now, in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. You can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Uh, this, woman, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimin, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay I say it again 
be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudos, ekenoshi alakotosi atagata. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay, be judged now. Any kind of delay, the spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you that makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to start bringing long. It's not, there is something, there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now, go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now from any strange power any force of darkness if you don't know your state of origin and you are from there you can know it now by the anointing in the name of Jesus anyone from that region that's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now I command deliverance now the strong men within those regions let God's people go now release them right now the spirits of the grave the spirits of ancestry I curse you by the God of heaven hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people in worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God. From the throne to their lives. 
Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension. Just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. The grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing. It's a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, Your I talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is missing. Yes. All these people they are, leave them. Their loved ones are just find out once they are. Don't please if, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in law. Your in law? Yes, sir. What do you mean your in law? From any states. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, sir. Missing? Since when? Since 2014. 2014? Yes. Sir. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. 
I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. He's yeah. it's, it's the only one. What but happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, Port Harcourt, that is arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Only son. One, one, okay, one. That's you all. Know. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, it, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the AP, he left the school and went away. What's his name? Awal is his name, Awal. Awal? Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they it, were smoking it, Igbo. It is, police came and packed them with his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, Kodin, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie. You give them 100 naira. You give, once you give them enough to take this thing, they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in this situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom's younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, you've sir. not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, okay. From Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. 
I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I called them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ may they be reconnected back to you in Jesus name God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing I hope someone is holding that person shouting me my friend come you are doing your ushering work but I will pray for you before you go back eh? look at me I'm looking at you the Lord is telling me to tell you August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you hold my hands August 7th don't forget write it father in the name of Jesus I pray for this gentleman you have revealed to me August 7th I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time I'm seeing a ring a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit be free from them now ladies be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentlemen I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This lady with lime, yes, you come. No, look at me, look at me. I'm talking at that one with you, yes, come. Where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain, you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that god will open your eyes not to see nonsense around to see something that is destiny molding now look at this girl how will i stand and see someone there and call her out imagine that this lady went back like this to her she will now say oh god so this is how you didn't locate me sensitivity Discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise, you will get into all kinds of error, wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life very bad luck i have to pray for you she just came quietly standing this i would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if god is not in the place in the name of jesus i'm seeing you cough i'm seeing her cough that's what i'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough i don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of Jesus Christ, Shatos Kalabarianda Shibrasia Kolas Kabata Shitatusia Katos Kabarandushki Anakalatia Karus Kadi Prehaski Yabari Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see. That if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch. He's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life. You can come now and hold her hands as a businessman. In two months of relationship, everything goes down. And she knows she loves God. But if you are not discerning, you will now call the poor girl a witch. And everybody will start running away from her. She's not a witch. There is just a challenge. And then if you also say she's alright like that. And somebody marries her. That guy's life will be torn into pieces. This is the testimony of so many families. It's an uncomfortable truth. But it's true. Human beings carry spirits. They carry presence. Father, liberty for her. The devil is already ah. Someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid. 
fibroid 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 I just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of Jesus Christ that devil of fibroid will pray for the sick shortly will be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of Jesus Christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen I want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um, as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um ejimi ejimi and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we we'll finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name.
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. 
if the devil didn't stop your request from getting here he will not stop it from being answered father in the name of jesus let there be miracles I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf. And I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. Whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours let there be that miracle. for those who have never had an opportunity to laugh every time you want to laugh something comes that must force you to cry I announce to you 
the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you. And tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing, everyone is crying from it. Could be patterns, could be whatever it is. I stretch my hands right now. And in the name that is above all names, I bring those patterns to an end now. For those trusting God for financial miracles, your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work, the grace for performance, I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, may it be named a month of strange miracles, strange wonders, strange miracles, strange wonders, strange miracles, strange wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, for some of you, as you sleep, may my God show you the secrets of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction, in the name of Jesus, every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you, I declare that let it be so for you. Revelation after revelation. Finally, whoever needs to arise and help you, they already have the capacity. All they need is the willingness. I pray for you. Let me tell you, breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you. Your helper has the means, but he needs to have the heart. Some have the heart, but they don't have the means. You need both. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you, I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you. I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters. I say it again, a new level of spiritual encounters. For some of you, I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning. Or you get up to pray and 5 minutes you are snoring back. It's an attack. I cast that spirit over your life. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over the north. 
we declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. We declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord in the name of Jesus secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately, desperately. You're saying, man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him second category of people man of god i love jesus with all my heart but i know that i need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if god does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium i like you to walk out here quickly overflow three i like you to run to your projector stand very quickly i'm counting one to five and we're done one god bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace. To obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four. Please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, you are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever i belong to jesus i declare that i'm a child of god the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them i pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones 
the grace that lifts men let that grace lift them the grace that secures them let that grace secure them in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you you will move forward ever and backward never in Jesus scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you